Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna go over three things. Uh, that is creating a uh, bootable USB with a live version of Kali Linux Lite uh, with Rufus. Uh, secondly, I'm gonna go over how to, once you install the Kali Lite version, how to switch from Kali Lite to Kali Full. And after that, I am going to go over how to uh, update your system so you can actually make VirtualBox work. So, first on, if you don't know, you're actually gonna go to Kali.org, uh, you're gonna go to download Kali Linux. Okay, it's, gonna, it's taking a while because I'm uh, re-downloading uh, another version, the uh, VirtualBox version. Um, anyways, so you're gonna look for the Kali 64-bit light. You know, click on ISO um, to download it. It's 0 0.8 gigabyte compared to the 2.6 gigabyte. Um, you're gonna download that, uh, save it somewhere where you can find it, and then you're gonna go to Rufus. You can just type into Google Rufus. Uh, it's, it's gonna be the first link, uh, which is a uh, creation tool to create bootable USBs. Once you download Rufus and install it uh, and start it, this is what, you, what you're gonna be presented with. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's also a lot of guides, but you pretty much um, select the uh, version that you want to put on the um, onto the USB. Uh, usually, it should have uh, Kali up here. It could also be the Ubuntu, Debian doesn't really um, matter um, my bad sorry uh, without doing it by myself anyways up here you're gonna select the device that you're gonna put it on so make sure it is your um, actual USB that you have plugged in and not like an external hard drive because you will delete everything on there so when you do this make sure that you're selecting your USB uh, not some other external hard drive um, anyways you can label it right here um, right down here you're gonna be able to select ISO image um, or I think it was disk image I think it might have been DD but you'll see it'll say um, disk image so you wanna select disk image for some other people the ISO image worked but for me it had to be the disk image um, you'll click on here and from here you will select your actual Kali Lite version and further you will click start it's also gonna tell you once it's ready and done and then you just have to safely unplug your USB it should have a Kali Lite bootable version or live version on that USB now I hope that wasn't too fast or too much information so if you have any questions on this process the first process just uh, comment on my video and uh, let me know what trouble you ran into now once you do that um, you're gonna plug it into whatever device you wanna plug it into let's say a laptop desktop and uh, if you wanna make that your main um, operating system you'll be just prompted. It's also pretty self-explanatory once you get into that. Um, you do need to make sure that wherever you plug that USB in that you need to have it in the BIOS options you need to have selected that you can boot from a USB and then you pretty much just um, for me it was F12 right when the computer laptop desktop boots you hit F12 you select your USB and it should kick you right to the Kali Linux uh, installation screen where you can choose you just want to run a from from the USB or you can actually install it as your main operating system if you want to do that just go ahead with that it's also pretty self-explanatory how to install it but there's also guides online that actually walk you through it mm. so besides that the first thing you want to do once your Kali Lite version is installed you're gonna be right right here pretty much um, you're not gonna have this so you're gonna be presented with your screen it's not like Windows but it's almost like Windows but not really um, you'll see that in the light version there's not gonna be as many applications so what you wanna do is go into your terminal and you wanna write sudo apt dash get install Kali dash Linux dash full and hit enter and then just follow it should probably prompt you with a yes or no that you have to download so much stuff and install so much stuff you're gonna hit yes hit or you know kick click the Y button hit enter it's gonna install the full version so for some people you have to reboot or restart the computer 
after the uh, full installation just to uh, kind of finalize the installation so um, just either way you know hit type in reboot hit enter or go up here uh, click on there and then click on restart should restart you now once you do that you want to actually update your system because they switched from Kali 2.0 to the Kali rolling so to do that you're actually just gonna go back into the terminal which is gonna be right here and you're gonna type app dash get update and hit enter uh, let it run its course and then once you're done with that you present it again with your uh, root user terminal you're then gonna type in app uh, I got app that whoop app dash get this dash upgrade and hit enter and that's gonna take a while so it took me about uh, 25 30 minutes to update your um, entire distribution and your kernel um, your headers and everything so once that is done you're gonna reboot restart the computer again and you will have now if you follow all these steps and you didn't run into any problems you're now gonna have a Kali Linux full version uh, rolling not Kali 2.0 that is completely perfectly working now for all that information let me go back um, where's it at so you can actually go to Kali.org where you also downloaded your uh, light version and they have lots of good information like the app dash get install open dash vm dash tools dash desktop fuse um, which you now need I guess for virtual machines I don't know really what what the difference is I haven't really read too much into it but pretty much to top this video off you should now have a working Kali full uh, Kali rolling uh, distribution on your system and everything should properly work now so yeah, that finalizes my video. Thanks for watching.